Well, good morning. Starting out bad, I spilled my coffee. I suppose I'll be grumpy all day. Anyway, got a new project, and I'm not gonna do this one. I'm gonna wait till after Thanksgiving. This is gonna be a bigger project than it appears to be. I know I said I was gonna do that, but I'm not for right now. And I'm not sure it's worth even messing with, but we'll see. But the project I've got is this piano bench. Bought this piano bench in 1965. There was a piano that went with it. Got it for my wife for her first Christmas present after we were married. And when they delivered the piano and the bench, the bench came without any legs. And they had to go back to the shop and get legs. Well, they got legs. And we didn't notice it at the time. In fact, we didn't notice it for a couple of years. We had moved away from the city. The legs don't match the bench, as you can probably well tell. I hope you can tell in, that, in the video. They don't match the bench. And now we've lived with this for 54 years. And I'm finally going to get around to doing something about it. It seemed like every time I walk by the piano, the first thing I look at is the bench and the legs. So going to see what I can do to change the color. They are walnut to match the, the wood matches, but uh, the color is totally wrong. I don't know what color. It's, it's an ugly color. I, don't have, I have no idea. I can't imagine someone having a piano that's this color. And then there's a few chips and dings in the bench. I'm going to try to fix those up. And then on the top here, there's a big light spot right here. There's another little one there, and there's another little one over here. You can, I think you can kind of see that in the video. Uh, I don't know, it's not really worked through the finish, but I'm not sure that it's laying on top of the finish either. So I'm going to kind of play around with it, and as I discover what I can do to fix it, why well, I'll let you know. We'll, we'll get back to the video with it. Uh, you know, I want to do the least that I can. I, I really don't want to strip this if I don't have to. So I'll start just by putting a little mineral spirit on it and wiping it down and see if it takes it off. If not, why well, then I'll have to do something else. I might try this product from Howard, Restore and Finish. Uh, see how that works. If I use this, I'll use it on a spot that won't show because I, you know, I've never used this before, and like I said in the last video, you know, test something before you do it. So I'll be testing this to see whether what it does to the finish. Other than that, I'm just going to wax it, clean it up, and uh, we're going to get started. So I'll get started and take the legs off the very first thing and work on them first, then I'll work on the top here. Taking the legs off is an easy project. Just have <clears throat> they just have little metal corner brackets. Just take these nuts off the bolt there, and they'll come right off. Not a big issue. So get at it. Get the other three going. Okay, the first thing I want to do on the legs is tape off the little toe cap here, so I don't mess those up. And uh, then I'm going to sand them with some uh, 120 and uh, eventually get up to uh, a 220. I really don't want to sand the finish completely off. I'm going to try to use the finish that's on there as kind of a sealer. And then I'll use a wipe on stain uh, to see if I can color them. If I can't, well, then I'll have to uh, probably put a little shellac on them and then uh, sand them with uh, a little or a little bit of uh, steel wool and then put some toner on them and then cover them up with uh, some polyurethane or maybe some spray lacquer. So that's where I'm at, so I'm going to get the tape in here, tape these off and, and do some sanding. Well, I got the toe caps covered and now I'm just going to hand sand these, rough this finish up so that it'll take some stain. Not much to see here, 
So, get back to you when I get done. Yeah, it's been about 20 minutes and I'm still sanding. When sanding flat, it's, it's uh, real easy to get the whole surface sanded. When sanding round though, boy, you tend to leave streaks. And you gotta get all the streaks off of there. If you don't, when you wanna put your finish on, they'll really show. So it's just harder to do. It takes a little more time. But uh, in the end, if you don't do it, and do it right and get all those streaks off there, you'll regret it when you put your finish on. So what, what I've done is I sanded them all once and I wiped them down to see if I could see any shiny on them. And of course I did. So I'm back sanding them for the second time. And I think that'll be a good nut. Now, right there, I just caught that little shiny spot right there. That's got to come off. And the best way to do it with your hand, with a piece of paper, like I'm doing it now, where you can rip around, or use one of these little foam pads. They work really good too. So, I think that's better. So I got two more to do here, and then I'll be back. I'm staining them with dark walnut. And uh, I think the color is uh, going to be pretty good. I was kind of worried whether or not they would take the stain. This is an oil stain, you know, the yellow can. Uh, take the stain or not, but they seem to be taking it pretty well. So I was pleased. I thought maybe I'd have to tone them and shellac them and all this good stuff, but I don't think I'm going to have to. I think it's going to be all right. This dark walnut, there's not much red in it. And the, uh, I don't think there's much red in the, the bench itself. So I think a couple coats of this and we're going to be just about the right color. So I'm going to keep standing here. And we'll see how they all look. Okay, I've stained them twice, and they stained up real nice. And I start to wipe them down, but they're very brown. Now I know walnut is brown, but uh, there's no warm tones at all. And there's some warm tones in the bench, and uh, these still aren't going to be exactly right. So what I've got here is a little red chestnut, and I'm going to use my black walnut or dark walnut rag and I'm going to dip it in the red chestnut and wipe it down with a, a kind of a diluted version of the red chestnut and see what I can do, see if I can warm them up a little bit. Just a little bit brown, okay? okay. I used some of the red chestnut, kind of warm them up just a little bit. I'm going to let them dry for about an hour. Then I'll probably spray them with just a little bit of toner. Just to continue to make them more look like uh, a walnut. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to work on the seat. <clears throat> and I'm going to try this uh, restore on a hidden spot, just to see how well it works. Okay, so we'll get back at it. First thing I'm going to do before I use anything else, I'm going to use a little steel wool and some uh, mineral spirits. Now, when you're working with steel wool, steel wool has a grain. If you look at it, see how it's, it's running this way? If you rub this way, it tend to leave scratches and grooves. So you want to turn it and rub it across the grain. And then it kind of works like a, well, I don't know what it works, it works kind of like a plane, like it just, it's just kind of scraping along there and uh, it won't leave grooves that way. So instead of rubbing this way, you know, rub across the grain. So let's see what this uh, is gonna do. And I'm not using a lot of pressure here, just a little bit, very little. Uh, 
Because if I don't have to refinish this, I don't want to. I can hear it down here, so I don't know about that. It may require some finish of some kind. It's better to start out gently and rub harder when you have to. Okay, let's wipe that off and see what we've got. Well, it's in the finish, so we're going to have to do more than just wipe it. A lot of it came off. But uh, far from all of it. So whatever it is, it's eating a little bit of the finish. It didn't eat it completely off, but uh, it's marred the surface here. I'm going to continue to rub it just a little more. See what I can do before I get it, get to doing something more drastic. Yeah. Now the finish, you know, is 54 years old. It's had a lot of butt time, so. It's uh, pretty thin. Well, I think I'll try a little bit of restore on the back side here, see what it does. Okay, I tried it on this apron on the back side, and man, does that stuff really work good. All the little dings and scratches and everything, it just they're just gone. So uh, I think I'll be using it. Now one of the reasons I want to test this was that if you use Restore, you can't put polyurethane on top of it. I guess it won't adhere to it. They're not compatible. So you put it on and then you wipe it off. And I don't know if you can tell much difference there or not, but look at that. It's gorgeous. It really works. And there was a few little scratches and dings back here and they're just gone. So, I understand that what it does, it kind of softens the finish that's on there and it allows it to rub and fill in the, that's, fill in the cracks and the scratches and stuff. So, now these big nicks and like that is not going to work on that because that finish is completely gone. But uh, So I'm going to go ahead and go around the apron and continue to work with it and see how it works. And I'm going to have to turn the uh, air filtration system on because that is really, really potent stuff. I had to put my mask on. The stuff is really potent. Now I want to zoom in on the top here and hopefully you can see how well this stuff works. It's amazing. So, uh, get the mask back on. I know the, the fan, the exhaust thing is blowing, but uh, I'm sorry.
I'm gonna let that dry for a couple minutes and see what it looks like. Maybe put on a second coat. Okay, I got it on. And it didn't do bad. It, all this in here it took off. This here it didn't take I had to sand this a little bit. And there's a little spot there I had to sand. But uh, a little bit right there it didn't do. So it beats having to strip it. And I'm going to let it dry. You say let it dry for a half hour. And then. Uh, apply feeding wax and then we'll see how it looks but again I think it's going to be better than stripping it I believe I'm not sure <laughs> have to wait and see well, I'm going to shoot a coat of lacquer on the legs see how they look Well, here it is, all done. As you can see, the legs do a lot better job of matching the walnut now. I put uh, walnut stain, two coats of lacquer, then I sprayed them with toner, and then I put another coat of lacquer on top of the toner. The top, uh, it's not bad, it's not bad for not stripping it, it's pretty good. The only thing I got left to do now is these little nicks on this. This is kind of like a paint here, it's very opaque. And uh, I'll touch those up with uh, magic mark wood magic markers and you won't be able to see those. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. We have LED lighting in our house. And the uh, lighting throws the color completely off. It's just amazing how the piano looks a different color than the bench. The legs look a different color than the bench top. Sorry about that, but that's just the way it is with LED lighting. The camera doesn't like it. <laughs>